I can't believe it is already week 43. And because it is the weekend before Halloween, we are going with the theme. We're leaning it into it and we are making mummy hand pies. We are not making crust from scratch. We are using pre-made crust. Now listen, you can make your crust from scratch if you want, but I am not going to do that today. It's been a whole week. So grab your ingredients and let's bake. This recipe is going to be fairly simple because we're cutting corners. Like I said, you go onto the King Arthur website, there is the recipe for, uh, you're going to need double crust for a nine inch pie, or you could just buy it at the grocery store. Like I did. Is it going to be as fantastic and as flaky and flavorful as homemade? No. Is it going to take a while off of the time it takes to make this? Yes. Um, also, this is a good recipe for kids to help with. So if you got kids or grandkids, this would be super fun for them. You can let them choose their own pie fillings. Um, where are my little eyes? Here they are. We've got these little candy eyeballs from the store. So it's, it's just fun. This is just going to be a fun, relaxing recipe. All right. You will need rolling mat, um, maybe some flour. I'm going to chance it and try without because I don't want to deal with the cleanup tonight. It is Friday night. I have to make these, record this, edit the video, and get it out tomorrow morning and take the pictures. So, um, so I'm all about trying to cut corners. So you're going to open your pie crust here. Put that over there. Unroll it gently. This is cheap pie crust. Um, this is generic brand pie crust. And boy, you can really tell. Make sure it's cold. It's going to be a nightmare to work with if it's warm. You're just going to unroll it. Try not to crack it. It's not a huge deal. And we are going to be cutting five by two inch rectangles. So four of them. It's not a great big recipe. It's only going to make four. Uh, I have my handy ruler here because, well, I'm working with round and I need rectangles. So, honestly, a knife would probably be a little bit better, but I respect my cutting mat too much to do that. So, you're going to keep these scraps because we are going to use these as the mummy wrappings on top. So, try not to get too crazy with that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one into strips. It does say two, right? That seems awful. Th five by two rectangles. It seems very, um, very skinny to me, but that's okay. Let's talk toppings while we do this. For your topping choices, you can do just about anything, honestly. Um, you can go with fruit, raspberry, any kind of jam. You can do the cinnamon sugar that's listed in the recipe. I've got Nutella because that is the kiddo's favorite. And I'm going to, we just got some apple butter today. So I'm going to spread some apple butter on there. Very excited about that. All right, let's see how many I can get out of this, because I would like to make extras, I think. Um, cut that off. And there's my five right there. You're going to put these on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I'm only going to go ahead and make the four. Cut out four, yeah. All right, that's what I'm going to do. So let's just cut the end off of that and make it nice and straight. And there's our five. And there's our five. And I'm only going to need, you know what, I'm going to make more than, <laughs> I'm going to make more than four because I'm going to get more than four out of this. So I think I will, I think I'll make uh, five. 
Yeah, we can do five. It would help if I used the proper side for cutting here. Five. There we go. So, six. I can get another one. I can get another one out of this. And then we'll have three of each. All right. There we go, that's my six. Okay, <clears throat> transfer the rectangles to baking sheet lined with parchment. Collect your scraps of dough, re-roll them out into about one eighth of an inch thick. Use the pastry wheel or pizza cutter to cut thin strips about one fourth of an inch wide. So that's pretty skinny. I mean, we are not, it's, it's mummy wrappings, right? Very, very skinny. Let's see if I can't get you a little closer here. Okay. So now that I've eyeballed one, I can pretty much eyeball the rest. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going for tasty goodness, not necessarily perfection here. Okay, if you're using jam, you're gonna scoop about two tablespoons of jam into the center. You're going to leave an eighth of an inch border around the edges. That's how we're going to attach the wrappings, okay? Now, I'm not doing fruit. I am doing Nutella. Oh, there we go, Nutella. So I'm just gonna wing it here. Nutella needs to be stirred. It's very, it can be very runny and messy. And this may not turn out, I don't know, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it and see. There we go. Don't forget to leave your edge. You're gonna wanna leave that edge all the way around. I'm laying it on kind of thick. And I missed the edge there. So, oops. Trying to get it as up and around as I can. Okay. Now, for this next part, you're going to take a strand of your pie crust. Oh no, I think we have to do the edges first. Do we have to wash the edges? I think we do. Yes, okay, I goofed. I got a little ahead of myself. You're gonna use your finger or a pastry brush to wash your egg white, your egg wash, which is one egg and two tablespoons of water mixed. And you're just gonna gently brush that along the edges. And my Nutella is spreading, so I added way too much. Um, I did not even think about that. I will be more careful on the next one. So it's fine. Again, this is for fun. This isn't, this isn't a baking competition. It's just for fun. Okay. And then you're going to take and kind of press down. And this is where you may need a knife. You're going to cut the edge off. And then you're going to go back around in another place like so. Okay, and you're just gonna go back and forth like that until your mummy is sufficiently wrapped for bandages. You're gonna wanna leave a gap for the eyeballs. Oh, see, now that's gonna be my downside on that one. Have fun with it, just just have fun with it. 
Okay, so doing all this is a little tedious, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna go with the apple butter. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. Try not to go too much here because this is really thin. So I'm making quite the mess here. Just like with the Nutella, I for some reason thought that this was gonna be a little easier. However, my hands are kinda shaky tonight, so it's fine. All right, good enough. <laughs> it's good enough, okay. Oh, why did I do that? That was not the right lid. Oh well. All right, that apple butter sure does smell nice. Don't forget your egg wash, which I have done every single time on those uh, Nutella ones. I kept going to put the, the mummy wrappings down and then realizing that I had nothing to stick it to. So that was fun. Um, if you're doing a fruit, Feel free once we get these done. You're gonna brush everything with some melted butter and then feel free to sprinkle with some coarse sugar. If you're going with a cinnamon sugar, you can sprinkle with cinnamon sugar. You don't have to sprinkle anything on these. Um, I don't think I'm going to sprinkle with the Nutella, which now that I'm looking at it, I worry is going to get everywhere. Um, and these may end up being a ginormous fail since I am going off script. Whatever. Listen, it's week 43. I have stuck with this challenge for 43 weeks. If I play a little fast and loose with a recipe here at the end, well, that's okay with me. Okay, set that aside. Okay, you're going to brush the tops of these with butter, lightly brush, don't get soupy on it. You're gonna put these in the 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Just like a pie, it's gonna be kind of bubbly. Mine may, very well may have oozed out all over the tray, we'll see. Then you're gonna let them cool. When they're almost cool, but your filling is still gummy, you're gonna pop your little eyeballs in there. And I will see you back for the grand reveal and the taste test, if mine survived baking. I'm happy to report that my filling did not spill all over the place. Everything stayed in place and <laughs> these are really cute. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try one of the apple butter ones. Now you need to watch your oven based on the uh, crust thickness. Mine were in a little too long so they're a little well done. I would prefer it if they weren't quite this dark but that's okay. It's just gonna be really crispy. That is very nice. Crust is a little well done. Mm. 
but it's not sticky, it's not messy to eat, it's very easy to eat, and it tastes really good with the apple butter. I suspect that the Nutella ones taste just as good. Um, <laughs> I'm handing some over to my lovely assistant. So that is gonna wrap up week number 43, if you can believe that. Next week, we're into November. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below because I will have one of these every single Saturday. You can have over to the Facebook page where I will try my best to put up the ingredient list and the name of what we will be baking sometime between Wednesday and Friday. I think I missed that this week. I apologize. But that way you can decide if you would like to bake along or not. You don't have to. It's up to you. But I will see you back next week for the November section of this challenge.